Hi, I'm Lisa Kennedy, Denver Post film critic, and welcome to Reaction Shot. This week's film, Avengers Age of Ultron, the sequel to 2012's Awesome Avengers. Did I just say awesome? I'm going to show you something beautiful. Everyone screaming for mercy. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. You're all puppets. Tangled in strings. Strings. Finally, after weeks atop the domestic box office chart, it looks like the Gangs All Here flick, Furious 7, will finally get passed by, well, another Gangs All Here flick. Can I get a room? I mention box office not because it's the measure of all things, Fitzy Shades of Grey, anyone? But because they're both teamwork flicks, and I am partial to teamwork flicks, not least because while bad guys appear to be all for it these days, uniting for common purpose seems in short supply in the real world. Writer-director Josh Whedon is especially good with this group's superhero-sized egos, and they're playful, or not, bickering. It would have been avoided if you hadn't played with no, something you don't I'm understand. Sorry. I'm sorry. It is funny. It's a hoot that you don't get why we need this. Tony, maybe this might not be the time. Really? To... That's it. You just roll over, show your belly every time somebody snarls. Only when I've created a murder bot. We didn't. We weren't even close. Were we close to an interface? Well, you did something right. And you did it right here. The Avengers were supposed to be different than you. Anybody remember when I carried a nuke through a wormhole? No, it's never come up. Save no, New York? Never heard that. Recall that? A hostile alien army came charging through a hole in space. We're standing 300 feet below it. We're the Avengers. We can bust arms dealers all the live long day, but that up there, that's, that's the end game. How are you guys planning on beating that? together. This movie is funny. I wanted to show you a party scene with a gag about Thor's hammer, but it's just too hilarious to crash, although Ultron does. James Spader strikes the perfect tone providing the voice for the AI being who intends to save the planet by getting rid of us pesky humans. He's aided in keeping the Avengers off their game by the twins Pietro and Vonda, who have a problem with Tony Stark. Played by Elizabeth Olsen, the non-Olsen twin. Hey, I just got that. Vonda messes with the Avengers' minds, not that the tormented Hulk needs much to send him over the edge. All right, everybody, stand down. You listen to me? That little witch is messing with your mind. You're stronger than her. You're smarter than her. You're Bruce Banner. <laughs> Right. Don't mention puny banner. Okay. That's a heck of an action sequence, and there are plenty more. Now, I have to believe that all the hullabaloo coming out of the movie's London press junket, there are a few actors happy that their on-screen characters are finally the focus. Jeremy Renner and Chris Evans, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, big guy. No! Sun's getting real low. <laughs>
now that I've seen the movie, that the two joked about Black Widow being a horror makes little sense. Black Widow tempers the Hulk's rage with her brave lullaby. <laughs> it doesn't get much more romantic than that, people. I'm Lisa Kennedy, Denver Post film critic. Join me next week when Reaction Shot looks at Hot Pursuit, the first of the summer season's funny lady comedies. Until then, be well.